guys, how are you? And welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends Home Media Review. If you can't already tell, I'm hyped and I'm ready to talk about one of my favorite releases of Thomas and Friends Home Media of all time. That's right, we're talking uh, about Thomas Comes to Breakfast. So let's not waste any time, let's jump right into the history of Thomas Comes to Breakfast. <laughs> So the history on Thomas Comes to Breakfast is as follows. It was first released by Anchor Bay in 1998 and re-released again in 2000. And it was finally released onto DVD in 2006. Yeah, extremely brief history for this, even though it's one of my favorites and one of my most nostalgic. And I'm not sure if I talk about this in the close-up or not, so I'll just go ahead and tell you why this release is so nostalgic to me it's because this is the first home v v video that i ever owned really of thomas and friends this was the first vhs that brought me into basically the thomas franchise in general and it's what prompted me to you know start getting the thomas wooden railway stuff so really it was it all comes full circle back to thomas comes to breakfast for me but yeah let's go ahead and move into the close-up of my copies of thomas comes to breakfast all right everyone here's your close-up view of thomas comes to breakfast on vhs so yeah we're in the setting again like with rusty to the rescue but hopefully next episode will we we will be back up in my room so anyway uh as i said in rusty to the rest to the rescue that style that we've been used to for over 12 volumes now is gone and they completely changed it and yeah this looks completely different than earlier releases so on the top the large thomas the, the tank engine friends logo thomas comes to breakfast weirdly slanted Thomas in the front there. The Behaving Well Story Collection. Good to know, Thomas. Good to know. Thanks for telling me. On the side, there's a Thomas that we all know and love. And look, he's got tracks again. And he, pretty much he'll stick with the tracks. Just good that they're actually giving Thomas tracks to rest on. Rare Aircraft again, but this is from Anchor Bay. This is the 1998 version. There's Anchor Bay's... Label up there. Interesting note here, Percy Takes the Plunge has a picture, or this release has a picture from Percy, from Percy Takes the Plunge, but that's not on this release. This episode is, though. Storyteller George Carlin, your blurb about what's on the tape and such, and your story stops. Entertainment to grow up with. And as you can see, it lists which volume these stories can be found on because this reuses older stories. This is one of those cash grabs as I like to call it. Thomas comes to breakfast, sticker label. So yeah, that's the 1998 version. But before we go, I have one more version to show you. A very late version. This is enough. This, this uh, particular print is not from 2000. Like well, most of them are from. I'd say this is probably around 2002, maybe 2003, maybe even 2005. Because uh, when I show you the tape, the ink label is from a very late era in Thomas and Friends on VHS. So anyway, Thomas and Friends. Thomas comes to br br breakfast and other stories. They actually got it right on here. Henry, what are you doing on the cover? I thought this was Thomas's tape. Why is there a screenshot from Trust Thomas on the bottom here? Don't ask me. Your guess is as good as mine. Cartoon Thomas that we all know and sometimes hate. Red Arcroft again. On the back, they actually took the Percy takes a plunge picture out and replaced it with Cow on the line, which is actually on this release. But they kept the James picture from... Uh, that episode in the duck arc. 
its name just like went away from me for a second there. Uh, the blur about what's on the tape and such. Your story stops and there's a little actual Thomas, which I kind of like. Like uh, this style of Thomas comes to breakfast is actually very nostalgic for me because I grew up on this version of it. This is not my original childhood copy that got, well, that kind of got crushed or it got eaten by the v v VCR. The demons of the VCR world ate it. This is why I say it's 2005, 2006 because of its label. Um, when um, when we get to New Friends for Thomas, uh, that'll have a similar label style to this and that's why I say it's a very late print. So you, so yeah. That's pretty much it for the close up here for Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Let's go ahead and move on back and answer the five main questions as always. All right, so we're back trium triumphantly from the close up, and now it's time to answer the answer the five main questions as always. Number one, where can you pick this product up? eBay, local we'll hobby store. More than likely, probably won't find this at regular retail. You might get lucky, but it hasn't been reprinted since, so you probably won't find an original release of this. At a local Target or Walmart. Number two, is this product still being printed nowadays? As far as I'm concerned and the I information that I could find on this, no, it is not. Number three, should you pick this product up? Obviously, for me and my nostalgic side, absolutely. This comes fully re recommended to anybody out there, really. But then again, on on a practical standpoint, if you already own some previous Ringo Starr narrated r releases, you already own these episodes, so there's no reason to purchase this. But if you're a completist, or if you're me, then yeah, go out and buy this. Number four, where should you pick this product up? Uh, wherever you can find it. And number five, what price should you pay? For the 1998 version, it is kind of rare, sort of. Not as rare as maybe some other releases that we're going to talk about soon but i would say it's probably worth about 10 but at the most 15 for a reprinted version those you can find pretty much anywhere you don't want to pay over maybe five to ten bucks for that and the dvd version i personally have never seen a dvd copy of this in person so that one i would say would it should be in about the 10 to $15 range. So yeah, that's my review on Thomas Comes to Breakfast. And it was a little nostalgic trip for me because I've always loved this, obviously, as I've explained to you. So yeah, our next episode, we will be looking at the various releases of Thomas and his friends get along. Thank you all for watching. And as always, good night, everybody.